good morning good morning guys we are just getting our day started I just finished uh, doing my pre-trip and we're ready to go so here we go let's see if we can hit the road we should be all right I know I feel the wind quite a bit today though I really do it's quite windy so uh, Hopefully the snow won't be blowing too much over the road and uh, hopefully they have taken care of the road already a little bit and so we should be able to get up to decode. But look at this truck up here to the left. Look at all the snow in front of him and in the grill and turn right on. Kenny Road. all that stuff. So uh, yeah, anybody that I have seen coming uh, or it's pretty obvious where they came from, right? <laughs> <laughs> when they're all grilled and underneath the trailer and everything is covered in snow you know where they came from you definitely do oh yeah anyways we got 138 miles to go until we get to Decal, Illinois so uh, we had us probably but if nothing goes wrong no if the road is not too bad about two and a half hours worth of driving to do and we should be in uh, Decal. so I know it's already quarter to nine o'clock in the morning, but whatever. I just figured I sleep in a little bit. Why? Why rush so much, Turn right? On. It's pretty much useless for me to be rushing. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, uh, we still have a little bit of flurries up here going on. Not too much, but hey. At least we got our windshield wipers working, right? <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't take very long for it to actually dry off the windshield either because we got that it's rubbing alcohol in it a little on. bit. So. <laughs> yeah, and my shoulder is feeling much better today. I guess uh, I did a few stretches or whatever. Maybe that put it back into place. It's not a hundred percent back to normal yet but it's pretty much I would say back to about 90 percent so and that's awesome feet. take the entrance to the right on I-39 South I-9 yeah, East I-9 yeah yeah I know we gotta get back over there to the right lane and uh, make a right hand exit up here right but anyways I appreciate you guys tuning in I really do so let's hit the road and uh see how bad of a snowstorm uh, they have gotten you guys can see we got pretty much no snow up here right so I guarantee you here probably within the next hour we're probably going to see some snow I'm pretty sure of that <laughs> yep here we go guys we have now gotten into this stretch where well it's fairly icy up here that's for sure I mean it was worse in some sections already they have really done a good job in my opinion cleaning it up so far but just as I got into it somebody called me so I was on the phone with him until now and this is actually the better stretch already but as you guys can see they have gotten quite a bit of snow up here and it they must have gotten some ice rain too because it's uh, quite big quite a bit of ice patches there right I mean this is nothing compared to what it was when I first got into it and I just turned on my camera and I was going to start recording One mile. Take mile and uh, my phone rings almost always happens like that but anyways just, just like you see up here on the left that's what it was like even worse than uh, when I got into it but now I'm almost at my customer and uh, we'll be pay we'll be doing a trailer switch up here and Luckily, it's only 38 miles back to the I-90 up there, and as soon as I get on I-90, there's no nothing. Breaking ahead. Nothing all the way up to South Beloit, Illinois. There was absolutely not not a drop of snow on the road, nothing. Clear roads, dry roads. But here we are, driving in this mess. I'm just glad I don't have to go further south in this fun stuff, right? But anyhow, let's go down here to our customer, pick up our load, and uh, head on out of here. I got real lucky, guys. I really, really did. The plant is actually shut down. They are closed officially. Yes, and this is a bad bump right here. 
And it is because of the bad snowstorm. Nobody could come to work, I guess. So they are actually officially shut down. So no loaded trailers are coming into the yard are allowed to come in. Only guys that are coming in with an empty and they are there to pick up a loaded trailer. So I got real, real lucky. Yeah, we got our load. And we can head on out of here. Yeah, good thing is we will be heading into dry roads. Once we leave uh, this area up here. It's only uh, 38 miles and I'll be back on dry roads. That's all it is to it. And I know I have quite a bit of snow on my trailer too, but it's not like some of these other guys. They have like four or five feet on top of their trailer. Luckily, I don't have any of that stuff, but hopefully you can get some of that stuff off of here before we get to the uh, interstate. The I'm trying to pick up a little bit of speed South so we can Street. shake some of that snow off already before we uh, miles turn right on. get First onto Street. the interstate because I hate to drive behind somebody and it's a little dangerous too. So, but other than that, yeah, we got our load. It's a mess out here, that's for sure. It's real wet, heavy snow, as you guys can see. Look at that pickup. That's a pretty high pickup already, and uh, he's almost touching the snow up there. Yes, he is. But anyhow, let's get on uh, down the road here, try and make our way to the interstate, and get on out of here. We were lucky enough to get our load and we didn't get stuck trying to drop our trailer or trying to get our trailer out or anything like that so we're good so that's hammer down did he hit the ditch yeah he went from the other side when he made it almost all the way through here <laughs> wow what a guy here i am on that icy stretch that i was talking about earlier guys and I am uh, just miles. about to uh, take this exit up here to uh, stay on the 39 to head towards the I-90 and I probably got maybe four more miles and uh, I'll be out of this guys I really will be I don't know this guy up here is taking it really slow I guess everybody is super scared to drive in this like this is not bad at all Especially with a little bit of weight on your tractor trailer. You know, nothing to worry about it. <laughs> but hey, you know, not everybody is used to driving in this kind of stuff, right? But I am, right? I drive in this kind of stuff all the time, especially up there in Ontario and all that stuff, right? But anyhow, we are turning on to I-39 uh, and 51 and 20 and all that. Well, we were on it too, it just to uh, continue on it, right? And everybody is going super slow up here. We're doing 17, 15 miles an hour now. <laughs> and I mean, the road is just wet, nothing to worry about, right? But hey, I guess better safe than sorry, I guess. That's a good concept, I guess, but oh well. I've seen several cars in the ditch already, I really have. So let's make it on down the road. I'm gonna go up to the loves just down the road here and uh, go in there, fuel up, and I'll uh, take me a shower and continue on cruising along. Here we go, guys. We just finished getting our fuel, got our bag. Now we're gonna go inside and grab us a shower. Yeah, look at all the snow. Most of the snow has come off the roof, I think even on the side yeah it's not much snow up here compared to what there was down there right so oh there's a little bit of a wind so anyways let's go in and take us a shower guys all right guys just finished taking me my shower and all that fun stuff so uh now it is time to hit the road again and get some miles under our belt for the rest of the day right that's the plan anyways <clears throat> thank you there trucker for uh, swinging wide so we can get out of this place right that's always a bonus when they do that 500 feet turn right on so yeah 
ATR 52, and then that was turn nice. on 850 feet. Taking me a much needed shower. Now we can get out of this uh, snow ahead. stuff up here and get back into Wisconsin where we had no snow this morning. That's right. I don't know when they're going to have this truck stop across the street done, but they're still working on it. They're still working on it. Yeah, that's right. I made sure I fueled up over here, fueled her all the way up, put the uh, DEF in it, fueled that all up too, so this way I shouldn't, I don't think I should have to fuel the DEF until I get home, so, and usually at home the shop does it, so I don't have to worry about it. I put some uh, anti-gel into it make sure that uh, my diesel wouldn't be freezing because I fueled up here and I like fueling at the love so they don't really have winter diesel but the uh, mile, take the entrance to the left on I we have this uh, product called uh, for anti-gel right so it's not supposed to miles, take the entrance to the left on I not supposed to gel North up on the field so uh, I should be okay I still add some Canadian fuel in there anyway, so I put one bottle of that anti-gel stuff in it, so should be alright. I hope so anyways, if not, we'll be in trouble. <laughs> yes, indeed. Anyhow, let's hammer down and get on down the road. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon already, so, uh, yep. I got 1,495 miles to go, so if I want to have any chance of uh, actually making it by the 28th into Calgary, I'm going to ham have to hammer down yet. I'm going to have to do probably about 250 miles yet today. Would be ideal to do 300 today, but that would mean I would have to drive fairly late. We'll see how we feel. but. We'll see how we feel. I'm kind of thinking about making me a stew tonight. I think I'm up for it. So we'll see. We'll hammer down and see what happens, right? It is actually the next morning already. Yes, indeed it is, guys. I drove quite late up to Clearwater, Minnesota, and I decided not to cook me a stew because it was fairly late already. It was like 9.15 in the evening already. And I figured by the time I'd be done cooking me one, that would be like probably 10 o'clock or after 10. And by the time I eat and clean it all up, it probably be 10.30. So I said, nah, I'm just gonna go to bed and get up this morning and probably go inside and have me a good breakfast. So you gotta stick around for that video to come tomorrow. But anyways, uh, we are done for today on today's vlog anyways. And I could have stopped earlier, not that I really had to push it all the way up to here. I just decided, you know what, if I stop on the other side of Minneapolis, then I would have had to drive through rush hour this morning. And uh, I didn't want to do that or to tomorrow morning, I, I guess you could say, on tomorrow's video. And uh, I didn't want to do that, so uh, anyhow... I'm going to go ahead and close off the show. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stick around for tomorrow. You never know what comes up with our journey right here on YouTube. Not in this script as most of you guys know. We, uh, we film whatever we come up with, right? So with that being said, we appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. If you did, leave me a big fat thumbs up and share the video, guys. Also leave a comment below and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.